Well, in a major blow to Sri Lanka's president, uh, Sri Sena, the country's parliament has defied his orders to resume an investigation into security lapses surrounding the Easter blast. The parliamentary select committee was hearing the testimonies from Muslim leaders who accused the Lankan government of repeatedly ignoring their warnings on radicalization. The Muslim leaders said that they had cautioned the authorities about radical elements. This comes amid a standoff between Sri Sena and his cabinet colleagues over the probe into the serial blast which claimed more than 250 lives. President Sri Sena has barred government officials from appearing before the parliamentary committee, but the parliament has warned that any official refusing its summons could face up to 10 years in jail. The, uh, the political tiff comes amid high-profile exits of Sri Lankan officials, the most recent being the Lankan intelligence chief, uh, Sisira Mendes, who stepped down from his post. Remember, Sri Lankan authorities, including the president, have time and again accepted that the attacks could have been averted had they heeded intelligence inputs, particularly from India. On to the other big story today. Well, Hong Kong's extradition bill could see a vote. Lawmakers were set to debate the controversial bill in the city's legislature today where it was expected to pass. But now the debate has been postponed as protesters occupied the roads around the government building in a bid to halt the bill. The Hong Kong legislature was empty as the demonstrators managed to block the politicians outside of it. The protesters put up barricades in front of the government offices as well. Hong Kong's legislature is said to be dominated by uh, Beijing loyalists now. A final vote on the bill is expected on the 20th of June. The controversial bill, uh, controversial bill would, not, would allow Hong Kong to extract suspects to China for the first time in 90 years. Protests in Hong Kong have picked up pace uh, cons considerably. Now, the anti-government protests also protesters also blocked two main highways in central Hong Kong. Many local businesses have been shut uh, in a sign of solidarity with the protesters. Uh, they also joined the strike. Hong Kong's major student unions have also boycotted classes to attend the rallies. Meanwhile, a top Hong Kong official has warned that the protesters must disperse and not defy the law. An estimated one million people protested against the law on Sunday. Protesters of the new law uh, view the law uh, that amends the extradition bill and it would erode autonomous Hong Kong civil liberties. Under its one country, two systems framework, Hong Kong was guaranteed its own social, legal and political systems for 50 years after its handover from the British rule in 1997. However, China's ruling Communist Party has been seen as failing to honor that agreement by forcing through unpopular legal changes. And earlier we spoke to our correspondent Patrick Falk from Beijing. Listen in. Well, I think Hong Kong has been braced for this for the last couple of days. There were calls for people to, as you mentioned a moment ago, close up shops, close up schools and get out and protest. A lot of people think that this is a final fight for Hong Kong. As you mentioned, on Sunday, there were a report of a million people that came out to march. There aren't quite those numbers today, but the atmosphere, according to all accounts, is very different. They mean business and they are angry that the government is pushing through with these proposals. And uh, as we know, they were able to postpone the reading today. We don't know exactly what's happening next, but it does se seem certain that the, the government does intend to push ahead and uh, push this bill through next week when uh, the Legislative Council makes a final decision on this. Uh, and uh, like I say, there is an enormous amount of anger that the government is uh, just ignoring what many, many people in Hong Kong want, and so that is for the bill to be thrown out completely. And it's hard to understand why the chief executive, Carrie Lam, is following through with it, given the political crisis that uh, has come out of this and uh, the fact that it's uh, put her uh, credibility under question. Uh, that's raising a lot of questions as to whether or not Beijing is pushing the Hong Kong government and the chief executive to follow through with this.